Nicholas Hall. Hi, how's it going? Um, so I wanted to uh, speak about my uh, prepared remarks tonight, but following some comments by Mr. Gray, I wanted to address you directly. Um, I am your constituent, and our neighbors who live on the streets, who live in tents, who live in the woods, they're your neighbors too. And many of them live in your district. The comments that you made tonight are deeply offensive. And it, it's confusing to me because I remember not but a few weeks ago we had a similar conversation about this very ordinance. This very ordinance where you told me there was no plan for the city to go through and put in some ordinance that criminalizes and punishes homeless people. And I keep racking my brain asking myself what changed, and I'm sure that people behind me could speculate what that reason is. But I'm not going to speculate tonight. All I'm going to ask for you to do today is to take the time and sit down with your neighbors who are unhoused. Take the time and sit down with the service providers and work on a solution to the problem that you're so concerned about. You know, earlier you made a comment calling our unhoused neighbors animals. And I noticed later on you were so offended at the idea of a raccoon being thrown into a, a, a garbage disposal, but you showed more anger and frustration at that than you have shown any, than any compassion that you have shown for our unhoused neighbors. They deserve your apology. Someone who is running for mayor should say that they're going to run and represent all of Peoria. That includes your unhoused neighbors. That includes the people living on the street. And it's clear tonight that this community cares about the people living here, whether they are housed or not. So do you really want to be a person that represents all of Peoria, or do you want to be a person who represents the business owners, who, by the way, you just voted against one business owner receiving their liquor license? So I am asking you not, because I know you don't respond during this comment. I expect to see an apology to our neighbors, not to me, to our neighbors. I demand that of you as your constituent, because that was deeply offensive.